have been a lot of workmen in the house. I mean, I'm not making any accusations, but isn't it true? I think we just mislaid a few things, that's all. Elizabeth Shue may be a reserved personality, but interest in her sex life has never been high. Is she really a super freaky girl like her ex Rick James sang about? What strange and powerful lessons did she learn from the prostitutes of Las Vegas? Also, what incredible belief does she hold about bisexuality? We reveal all this and more in this untold story about the crazy sex life of Elizabeth Shue. Without further ado, let's get started. Given her impressive resume, including such classics as Leaving Las Vegas, CSI, Karate Kid, and Back to the Future, Elizabeth Shue is one of the most iconic actresses in Hollywood history. However, it wasn't until the release of the hit superhero show The, the Boys in 2019 that she was introduced to younger audiences. That show had her playing more of a cougar character who has a weird sexual relationship with one of the show's antagonists. However, as we are about to reveal, Elizabeth has been attractive throughout her long storied career in showbiz. In 1981, funk artist Rick James released the song Super Freak. Due to its overtly sexual lyrics, it gained instant notoriety. As a matter of fact, the song was so sexual that some claim it brought about the downfall of Rick James. Before his decline began a decade later, while he was still at the absolute top of his game, Rick dated Elizabeth Shue. Elizabeth was quite young at the time. However, she had already found much success in Hollywood. It made complete sense that she would keep crossing paths with other stars of showbiz, such as Rick James. What took most people by surprise was the romance that bloomed between them. The passion that ignited between Rick and Elizabeth burned red hot, as did the speculation about their bedroom adventures. Most of this speculation was fueled by the lyrics of Rick's hit song, Super Freak, in which he gets into the dirty details about the kind of woman he likes. Had Rick's tastes changed? Was Elizabeth one of those women? Or had Rick just been talking a big game the entire time? Considering how Rick James suffered criticism for Super Freak, and considering how ardently he defended it, it's unlikely the lyrical content of the song was all talk. In any case, speculation about the couple's sex life died down when they decided to part ways. While they really enjoyed each other's company, their individual schedules just did not permit a relationship between them. As a result, they decided to call it quits. In the years since then, they've always been really respectful towards one another. Unlike some celebrity couples who badmouth each other at every opportunity, Elizabeth and Rick remained tight lips. All in all, their relationship was probably less controversial than both fans and the media wanted. In any case, Elizabeth's next relationship provided them with some much needed mystery. In 1995, Elizabeth starred as a prostitute in what became a career-defining role in the movie Leaving Las Vegas. Co-star was Nicolas Cage who was also quite a hot prospect at the time. To prepare for her role, Elizabeth interviewed real-life prostitutes. In her own words, although they acted like they were businesswomen who merely exploited men, she could sense great vulnerability around them. Elizabeth's performance was so great that it netted her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress on top of BAFTA, Golden Globe, and SAG nominations. As a result, the doors of Hollywood opened up even wider for her, offering her an array of more interesting roles with Tinseltown's most bankable talent. Elizabeth went on to star in Woody Allen's Deconstructing Harry, in which she got to flex her comedic chops against such heavyweights as Demi Moore, Billy Crystal, Stanley Tucci, and Robin Williams. This was a prestige production that was par for a recent Oscar nominee. However, it was in her next role that Elizabeth shook things up. Keeping things versatile, she decided to star in the action thriller The Saint alongside hotshot Val Kilmer. While The Saint was a 1997 production, the rumors between Elizabeth and Val went as far back as two years prior. The tabloids tried their hardest to unveil a romantic relationship between the two. However, they failed as there was not enough evidence. But when The Saint came out, the Val Elizabeth rumors came back in full force. What was really going on between those two? On set, it was reported that Val and Elizabeth were quite chummy with each other. So much so that many members of the cast and crew thought there was something substantial between them. When The Saint was released in theaters, some thought it was a foregone conclusion that Val and Elizabeth were dating. After all, how could two people who were not romantically involved have that much chemistry? When pressed, Val and Elizabeth remained tight-lipped. Naturally, this drove up speculation about their relationship. The Saint made a decent amount of money but its paper-thin script was panned by the vast majority of critics. 
However, the one thing these critics could agree on was that the on-screen chemistry between Val and Elizabeth completely redeemed the movie. Hundreds of thousands of fans trooped into theaters simply because they couldn't get enough of the love scenes between Val and Elizabeth. This drove up the box office gross significantly. Meanwhile, confirmation of an official relationship was still strangely absent. Were the relationship rumors between them a scam to promote the movie? Well, in the long history of Hollywood, such a thing is remarkably common. However, in the case of Elizabeth and Val, the history between them made it difficult for the media and for fans to be so cynical. Perhaps as two private people, they just didn't see the need to share every detail of their private lives with the public. This made sense for Elizabeth, who was quite tight-lipped about her relationship with Rick James as well. What do you think, though? Do you think Val and Elizabeth really dated, or do you think the rumors were encouraged to boost ticket sales? Whatever the case, Elizabeth's next relationship was something she couldn't quite hide, especially since she was married to the guy. When Elizabeth Shue started her career, she was known for playing goody two-shoes and girl-next-door type roles. However, when Leaving Las Vegas came out, she completely reinvented herself, proving that there was a dark edge to her. This made her coveted by some of Hollywood's most powerful men, especially since she couldn't shut up about how much she had learned from the Las Vegas prostitutes she interviewed in preparation for the role. In her own words, those prostitutes taught her how to turn someone on without feeling anything for them. Quite a useful ability to have in Hollywood, wouldn't you say? And who did Elizabeth use this newfound ability to charm? Well, Elizabeth's man was someone not a lot of fans predicted. Elizabeth Shue met Davis Guggenheim on a film set in the 90s. They ended up getting married in 1994. True to Elizabeth's character, the couple maintained a low profile. This is why some sections of the media felt so comfortable spreading relationship rumors about her with other men. Despite how coveted Elizabeth was within Hollywood circles, she and David remained a strong couple. As a pair, they have experienced so many milestones together, including the birth of their three children. Even as Elizabeth has entered the cougar face of her life and Hollywood career, nobody has successfully tempted her to be unfaithful to David. Rather than going in for one of Hollywood's most desired men, Elizabeth picked someone she got along well with and settled down peacefully. Over the years, public interest in Elizabeth Shue's sex life has remained high, especially due to the nature of the roles she has been playing. In 2017, while promoting the sports film Battle of the Sexes, which stars Emma Stone and Steve Carell, she said in an interview that she's always truly felt that all human beings are bisexual. Was this her coming out moment? The statement was in response to a question about if she has ever played any lesbian roles, to which she replied she hasn't, but would really love to. She then dropped this bomb about bisexuality. And naturally, you know it got a lot of fans talking. Whatever the truth is about Elizabeth Shue, her sex life will always continue to be a big point of interest, especially when you combine her filmography, her inherent sex appeal, her tight-lipped nature, and her large and loyal fan base. Though Elizabeth is a private person, some of the things she has let slip have driven up the speculation about her like mad. What exactly is the truth? This has been the untold crazy sex life of Elizabeth Shue. Which part surprised you the most? Which part scandalized you the most? If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.